Dzień dobry. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to all of you, both here in the room and also to all our webcast viewers at the presentation of results across the GA group, the Grupa Azote group for the third quarter of 2016. Today's speakers will include Mr. Paweł Łapiński, Vice President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty, Mr. Wojciech Zasadzki, Vice President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty Police, Mr. Leszek Jakubów, Financial Director of the, Depart of the Grupa Azoty Kędzierzyn, and Mr. Mr. Fomenda, Vice President of the Management Board of Grupa Zoty Puławy. Welcome to all of you at the presentation of our results after the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, I will start with the major developments of the third quarter. I will discuss the market situation and I'll also present information of our financial performance in the quarter. Moving on, we will present the results generated by our key companies And we'll this, these will be presented by people who represent the key financial functions across the board, the, the, the group. The major developments in the third quarter of 2016 include, in September, Group Azote signed an agreement for the co-financing of the Research and Development Center between Group Azote and the Ministry of Development. The financial support will reach 20 million PLN and the overall cost will is expected to reach around 80 million PLN. As part of the newly built or extended infrastructure, our work will include a number of areas. We will intensify work on the use of graphene. We want to develop new fertilizer products and we want to test our new ideas and technologies. In general, we will take any action and implement any projects which will improve or increase our competitive edge. Also in September, we signed, the Grupa Zoty signed two annexes for the financing uh, structures with PKO BP Bank, which will make it possible to um, use the financing up to two, up to 550 million PLN. On October the 4th, Grupa Azote and Grupa Azote Police signed a letter of intent on the capital involvement in the PDH project. Under this document, Grupa Azote will participate directly in the future as a shareholder of this particular project, the propane dehydrogen dehydrogenation project. Let me now move on to the specific financial performance for the third quarter. Our revenue closed at 2 billion PLN. EBITDA reached 131 PLN with the EBITDA margin as 6.6%. In quarter three, we reported a loss at m minus 10 PLN. As we know, and as you all know, this result is close to what the analyst had expected before. In analyzing and assessing our performance, we need to take into account the specificity of our business. The next slides will show you the development of quarter three results in the period from 2013 to 2016. As you can see on this particular slide, 2015 was an extraordinary year. As you can see, there is a there is a spike for 2015. We reported a premium due to special developments in terms of prices. 2016 is a typical period in comparison with the four years presented across the four years presented on this slide. And as you can see, our results for 2016 is close to what we have reported for both 2013 and 14. And it is the way that it should be that our performance for 2016 to date should be assessed. 
a good element, mar the EBITDA margin is a good element, is a good factor, which was higher uh, than in previous years. Year to date, we reported the revenue at 6 billion PLN EBIT at 439 PLN million PLN, EBITDA at 26, and EBITDA margin at 12.5%. As a side note here, I'd like to mention write-downs, write-offs uh, related to our investment in Senegal, which was a one-off event. Had it not been for those write-offs, we would have reported a higher EBITDA result and the margin, EBITDA margin as well, which would be identical to 2015, or would have been identical. Mr. Zasadsky will discuss this issue further when he uh, will take over to discuss uh, the financial performance at Polize. This is still to come. Right now, I'd like to discuss our investments. We spent the total of 875 million PLN uh, year to date, uh, including business development investments at 425 million business maintenance investments at 227 million, mandatory investments at 86, and other investments at 35 million and 101 million. Our major investments uh, focused on, was focused uh, in the fertilizer segment. And our capex to date is as is had been, uh, it had been expected before. As you remember, the capex for 2016 is estimated at 1.6 billion. Moving on to our financials, our net debt after the uh, the, the third quarter is at the, th the debt ratio is at 33.7. Net debt and net debt to EBITDA ratios uh, are close to 2015. As you can see, Grupa Azote is well prepared for the financing of our both our current operations, day-to-day -day operations, and also our CapEx plans. As you can see on those charts, we still have more than 1.6 1 bill, 1 billion PLN of free funds, which makes us prepare for a number of options and actions that we can take in the future. Moving on to major business segments across the group, we will start with discussing the presentation, uh, discussing the situation at the agricultural market. The volumes are close to, uh, the volumes for crops are close to uh, 2015. However, the quality is much, much worse than in the previous year. Therefore, m the majority of crops are uh, being produced for fodder production. And as a result, the average price is going down. Also, higher quality crops uh, have been imported from abroad, especially from the East. Plus, there is an oversupply in the global markets. As a result, our major clients, namely the farmers, Their, their portfolio is weak this year, and we have been impacted in the way that the demand for our the products has been falling down. On this particular slide, you can also see a comparison between the prices, the benchmark prices of fertilizers in the period 2011 to 2015 in comparison with today's prices. As you can see in the gray zone presented on those charts, the, the prices in the previous period were much different than today. And the differences in prices impact have impacted our performance to a large extent. However, we still have positive signals. One of them is the reduction of, product, of, of urea produced in China, which means that, first of all, production of urea in China is too expensive in comparison with the prices on the market. Secondly, 
a portion of supply has been taken away from the European market. As a result, we can expect an increase in urea in the price of urea. And as you know, urea is an important element of our business because the prices of urea determines the prices of nitrogen fertilizers and it is directly related in terms of prices. Therefore, we can expect that the prices of nitrogen fertilizers are, is going to go up as well. When we analyze the benchmark prices for nitrogen product, pro products, we should mention that the very difficult situation makes farmers more inclined to buy simpler, more simple products. As you can see, the margin on nitrate fertilizers is narrower than before. In terms of our outlook for the future, we can expect a relative growth in demand in the nearest future for a number of reasons, both an increase in demand and also prices. First of all, the prices of gas have increased because of the winter season, which is coming up. However, according to the information from the Agency of Restructuring and Modernization of Agriculture, we will, can expect around two, two million PLN on the market in the form of direct payments. And we can expect that some a portion of those funds, of those direct payments, will be used by the farmers for the purchase of our products. And since Everybody expects an increase in prices related to an increase in raw materials. Um, we can also expect that demand uh, for our products will increase in the nearest quarter. In terms of compound fertilizers, the situation is much more difficult to predict because, first of all, we have an inflow of funds in the, ter in the form of direct payments. However, we know that farmers are more likely to resign from purchases of more compound fertilizers or reduce their purchases in a more difficult market situation. In this context, context in the third quarter, a revenue, the revenue of Grupa Azote group is shown on the next slide for the agro-fertilizer segment. The revenue was down 15% and EBITDA was down 30%. As I've mentioned before, due to market situation, we sold 3% less for nitrogen fertilizers or nitrogen fertilizers and 5% less of compound fertilizers year to date. As I've mentioned before, you can see very clearly that th when a market situation is difficult, farmers are more inclined to reduce their compound fertilizers purchases. Therefore, the decline in the, the revenue uh, from compound fertilizers is much higher than in terms of nitrogen fertilizers. This whole situation comes from the fact that there is a very unstable uh, and fluctuating situation uh, on both the compound and nitrogen fertilizers market around the world. Moving on to plastics, it will come as no surprise for you that we have to face a fierce competition um, in this particular market. There is an oversupply in the market and we need to um, face a very strong price pressures from our clients. However, in terms of polyamide, the demand it keeps growing and we can expect that uh, the growth and the demand for poly polyamide uh, across Europe will reach 5% this year. Still, we, s we have an oversupply which will be the main factor which will drive our prices down. We have reported benchmark prices declines for caprolactam 8% and polyamide 12%. As a result, the plastics segment was the weak weakest business segment across the Grupa Azote group uh, with revenue at 833 million PLN, down 14% year on year. EBITDA 
was negative at minus 35 million PLM. Moving on to the chemicals segment, the situation was not as clear as in the plastic segment. We have noticed and reported a correction of prices, which was driven mainly um, by the changes in uh, crude oil prices. However, we need to take into account that both for axo alcohols, the margin has declined sli slightly. However, uh, on the plasticizers market, the margin is still at a very good level and has been very stable. Of course, the future will depend on the developments of uh, prices of our main raw materials. The demand for melamine has been stable and the melamine prices are uh, at a very good level and we can do not expect any changes in that area in the nearest future. As a result, we in the chemicals segment, we reported the strongest performance in quarter three and also year to date. The revenue for the three quarters of this year um, stood at 1.6 billion PLM with EBITDA at three of uh, 234 PLM, which was up for 109 percent in the corresponding period previous period. In all areas, except for technical grade urea, we reported higher volumes and also higher EBITDA in terms of volume compared with the uh, corresponding period in 2015. That will be all in terms of my presentation. Let uh, me now give the floor over to Mr. Christoph Romenda, who will discuss the financial performance at um, Grupa Azoty Puave Group. Welcome. The third quarter at Grupa Azoty Puave Group has been on the one hand, in line with the expectations of the market, as Mr. Wapinski has just mentioned, but also in general was in line with the assumptions and the expectations that we have made or had made in the beginning of this year. In other words, the general trends had been expected and have not caught us by surprise. This information has been known and has been uh, taken into account in the beginning, at the beginning of 2016. In the third quarter, we reported 712 million PLN in revenue, which is down in comparison with the third quarters of 2013, 14 or 15 which was mainly due to the developments in the agro segment, which will be discussed in just a second. The chemicals segment, just as um, Mr. President um, has just mentioned, was at a reported a, um, a good performance. Um, the operating profit at the EBIT level uh, stood at 23 million PLN with EBITDA at 69 PLN. But let me mention at this point that this performance that is shown uh, on this slide for the third quarter of 2016, this performance is much, much lower or weaker compared with 2015 year on year. However, this is due to a certain spike in terms of our business operations last year, both in terms of prices at the fertilizers market, of the fertilizers market, but also in terms of costs. Right now, the situation is more or less reversed. This will be discussed in just a second. What deserves to be mentioned at this point is the fact that at the EBIT or EBIT down margin level in general, compared with the previous years, 
14 and 13, still we can we can we do not identify any negative trends despite the downtrend the general downtrend in the market year to date our performance is of more than 2 billion PLN and the situation is similar to the third quarter as well both EBIT and EBITDA margin for the third quarter of this year is just slightly lower than in the previous year, which in the context of this very high reduction of revenue should be read as a positive sign. We should also mention the net profit at two 143 million PLN. I need to mention that compared with the pre previous year, our performance is due mainly to To, is, is mainly to the, due to the fact that 2015 was the year of extraordinarily high prices, which impacted both the end of the year of 2016 and also the beginning of the year of 2016. Moving on to the specific performance of uh, Grupa Azote Puave uh, in the agro segment, a number of general remarks. As you can see, looking um, from the window, this, the, the snow has just started to fall, which is a bad sign for us. We can expect that the purchases and production will be put on hold from the farmers. Another remark is that we did expect this performance uh, to be at the, this, this level, but we need to take into account that we have a strong pressures both in terms of prices and supply, not only in Poland, but also around the world. If we analyze the prices at the end of quarter three compared to the end of the third quarter of 2015 around the world, we can say we can see that there has been a major drop in prices for all fertilizers group uh, groups. Uh, at around even 25 percent, which is related to strong supply oversupply pressures and also to the situation in the um, agriculture uh, across the agricultural market around the world. And this has a major impact on us because we can feel that there is a higher supply of fertilizers from abroad, also in Poland. So first of all, we need to focus on safeguarding our market position and also on safeguarding our margin at the same time. Because it is relatively easy to uh, focus on the margins, but in that way, we will risk losing our market share, our market position. So the results that we are presenting uh, for the third quarter uh, or after the third quarter is somehow a meeting point between those two, a middle point between those two factors. And I need to also mention that the export markets is also where we feel the price uh, and supply pressures. And also we need to take into account certain macroeconomic factors such as Brexit because uh, uh, there has been um, there have been a major of uh, certain problems across uh, the group uh, as the group and uh, uh, the Puave group in um, in general and in particular um, because um, falling exchange rates for the British pound also impacted our performance in the third quarter. In terms of revenue for the agro segment, the revenue stood at more than 400 million PLN and 
around 1.5 billion PLN year to date for the three quarters of 2016. It was obviously lower than in the extraordinary um, good 2015 uh, financial year. But I would say that uh, two thirds of this performance is attributable to, of the decline in performance is attributable to um, the price drops for major fertilizers. And also one third, the remaining one third would be uh, the effect or due to um, lower volumes. We need to take into account that uh, the EBITDA margin, despite this very challenging situation, year to date has been maintained. In the chemical segment, similarly to Grupa Azoty, the chemical segment at Puave reported good or shown good have shown good results in two thousand in quarter three two thousand and the revenue comparable to uh, the previous year. The revenue was down 7% year to day. However, our revenue is still at a good level, which is first of all related to a very stable situation in terms of uh, melamine prices. And on the other hand, it is the effect of certain benefits which are which are related to good raw materials price raw material prices be it benzene or other feedstocks those prices are especially not only benzene but especially um, urea uh, those prices uh, are low and this is a positive factor for us this is a so-called raw material price premium for us. So both uh, for the third quarter and also year to date in 2016, our performance in the chemical segment is better than in the previous year. And we expect this trend and this level to be continued and maintained in the future. There is a certain unknown and there is a situation on the gas segment which is beyond our control. However, if we uh, have no major spikes in terms of gas prices in the future, then we can expect that the chemical segment will remain as um, positive and profitable as it has been uh, year to date. In terms of our financial situation, the financial situations, situation is um, at, at a very safe level. We do have certain changes versus the previous year, year to year on year in terms of profitability ratios. However, in the context, in the broader context of our general financial performance, this has come as no surprise, and this is uh, not a major problem. Our negative debt ratios. are a proof that we have still much room to finance our day-to-day -day operations and also our investment projects. The key developments for in, in terms of Grupa Zote Puave uh, have been presented. And now I would like to move the uh, give the floor over uh, to the presentation to Mr. Lasek Kubov, who will present, uh, sorry, Mr. Um, Sasatsky, who will present the developments at Grupa Zote Police. I'd like to start, good morning, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to start with discussing AFRIG and one of events related to AFRIG, which had a major impact on our operations for the first half of the year, uh, the far first half of the year, uh, in the first half of the year, we uh, recognize major impairment uh, write-downs related to Africa. This has been phase one. Quarter three 
is phase two of this process. And um, I'd like to say at this point, there will be no phase three in terms of Africa. Now, moving on to details, the write downs for the third quarter are related to tangible assets and also intangible assets which have not been amortized or depreciated before for the lam lam deposit uh, for the deposit in the lam lam mine which stopped uh, producing um, phosphates uh, because our license for production on this particular in this particular location expired in august uh, and those um, write downs are also related to inventory of phosphate rock and the overall impact of those write downs or uh, on EBITDA in the third quarter stood at slightly more than 19 million PLN and the impact on our net profit was at 23 million PLN. As I have mentioned before, in terms of our subsidiary AFRIG, we are still working on the Kedemer deposit. In June, we secured permits for exploration work and geological work is going on as we speak. And this work uh, is meant to give us certain signals and answers in terms of the location and the depth of phosphate phosphates and also the economic viability of production in this particular location. Obviously, we will need to have tests and those tests are planned or should be planned uh, only when we have more concrete estima estimations uh, for the viability of uh, this project. So you can expect um, the test to be um, handled or to be um, to occur uh, uh, at the end of the year and the beginning of the next year. Uh, the negotiations with both the local communities and also uh, the local um, governments uh, are going on because our projects will involve relocation of the local, some part of the local population. So when the economic viability for this particular mine, for the production in this particular uh, location, uh, is confirmed, then we can use uh, the very strong support from the local government, from the local authorities. We had a chance to speak both uh, to the president and the ministers of this country uh, when they visited Poland. Um, and they declared our, their assistance uh, and help for instance, in terms of logistics, um, the license, the production license, another uh, issue is the uh, Kyre uh, offshore uh, deposit, um, which is related to the Ilmenite production. The license has also not been expand extended. No work is going on at this point in this very Ilmenite deposit. I'd like to mention at this point that those Ilmenites were low quality deposits. They, this deposit included a number of different elements. For instance, Niob, which impacted, which impacts very negatively the quality of titanium white. And when we present our results, or specific results for titanium white at Polica, you will see in just a second that this result is very good. For the first time for the past three years, we have reported positive above the line results for titanium white production. Therefore, we need to make we need to make sure that the quality of uh, raw materials or feedstocks for the production of titanium white should be should be good. So, um, because the Senegal Senegalese uh, deposit will not um, will not ensure good quality for the production of titanium white, uh, we need to take that into account. Moving on to the very concrete numbers. Uh, you can see on uh, this slide uh, the presentation of our performance with and without one-off events. As far as uh, 
quarter three is concerned, our performance is obviously weaker uh, in the summer season. We reported lower sales in terms of net loss. We, uh, we reported the net loss uh, at minus 9 PLN, million PLN. But if we exclude one-off events, that we can see that the trend has reversed in comparison with 2015. In 2015, we should have reported a loss for the third quarter. In terms of our performance year to date, our revenue is obviously lower than in the previous year. However, as my colleagues have already mentioned, the cost base was lower and also the raw material prices were lower. But I would like to also mention that other costs are also analyzed very, very closely and we are working on reducing them. Therefore, despite lower performance in terms of revenue, Polite would have reported a higher, a much higher profit without the one-off events, which we, which I have just discussed. Uh, without those one-offs, our performance in terms of our profit would have been much, much better than in the previous year. Moving on to the discussion of particular segments, I would like to mention that, first of all, in the fertilizer segment, our general performance is in line with what has been presented by my colleagues. We have reported a major drop in revenues. However, a, a major drop in terms of especially uh, urea. Uh, however, although EBITDA is also lower than in the previous year, but we need to still take into account the one-offs. If it hadn't been for the one-offs, our EBITDA would have been different, would have been comparable or similar to the previous year's EBITDA. In terms of the pigment segment, as I have mentioned before, this has been the first time over the past three years that we have reported an increase in both revenue and EBITDA uh, in this particular segment. Moving on to the discussion of profitability, liquidity and debt ratios, they are pre presented on the next slide, versus the book performance. They are still lower than in 2015, but from the cash standpoint, if we eliminate again the one-off events, those ratios would be higher than 2015. In terms of liquidity, our liquidity is at a safe level and also our debt ratios are on the safe side. In general, I'd like to say that the situation, the financing situation at Polite, Grupa Zoty Polite Group is good. Of course, it could be better, but it's good. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Jakubow, Leszek Jakubow, will discuss the situation at Kędzierzyn. A very warm welcome again and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we move on to the presentation of specific results, I'd like to mention a number of factors which will highlight the situation uh, uh, in, at, our, on my, at our company uh, in the third quarter. First of all, quarter three is a quarter or is a period of price pressures, especially in the area of fertilizers. This is, first of all, due to the, a difficult financial situation of farmers and also due to the imports of fertilizers or cheaper fertilizers to Poland, which are of inferior quality, but they are cheaper. Secondly, the third quarter is a continuation of saw a continuation of uh, the downward trend in main uh, feedstocks, that is gas and propylene. However, in the third quarter, 
the positive impact and the positive effect of low feedstock prices was not sufficient to offset the negative effect of price pressures. In terms of volumes, we managed to maintain the volumes uh, in the fertilizers at a similar level. However, the price factor was a determining factor for our performance. Thirdly, we need to also, I need to also mention that there has been, there have been our major maintenance downtown, downtimes uh, in June, uh, in July and August in the previous year, we had a major downtime, downtime for maintenance at our plants before, that is in June and July. This has impacted our situation in the third quarter as well. So moving on to our specific performance in the third quarter, our revenue was down uh, 12 percent uh, and at 379 million PLN. As a result, our EBIT uh, was at minus uh, 3.4 million PLN. Our EBITDA was at 4.8 and our net profit was at minus 2.7. However, if we want to take into account the effect of maintenance downtimes, if we focus on the entire period uh, between quarter one and quarter three year to date, we can see that EBITDA has been up by 10.8% year on year, even though our volumes were going down. And therefore, Year to date, compared with 2015, our net profit was also up by 5.4%. In terms of balance sheet, if our balance sheet ratios, we can see that our profitability ratios um, have um, been uh, up. Uh, our liquidity ratios are more or less the same. Uh, in terms of our debt, our debt uh, was that debt ratios were driven mainly um, by those maintenance um, downtime, downtown times, as I have mentioned. And in fact, the situation, our financial situation is stable, which does not mean that we do nothing. We do all, uh, our, we do our best to uh, improve that situation. Moving on to specific segments performance, um, starting with uh, the fertilizers uh, and the uh, segment and uh, the oxo alcohol segments. As we can see, we have um, reported higher uh, volumes and revenues in EBITDA. Therefore, our performance after the three quarters of 2016 is better than in the previous year. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure now to tell you that um, from today on, you can have access to uh, the Group Azotic Group's 2015 integrated annual report, and we encourage you to visit our website to uh, take a look at our integrated annual report.